Good morning, afternoon, and evening to everybody watching this video now and in the future. Today we have another Pokemon tier list for you guys from the guy that makes random tier list to me. We're going to be taking a look today at Mega Evolutions for Pokemon, and truthfully, this is the second time I'm recording this video because I need to add some more tiers. Um, our tiers today, you can see we have a lot. We're going to start with S and go all the way down to F, um, basically just in descending order, the worse and worse they get, and def some of the, these Pokemon will definitely end up down here. Though I do expect we might, well, let's not give it away. So if you don't know, Mega Evolution is a type of Pokemon evolution where certain Pokemon are able to Mega Evolve, basically uh, advance into a temporary stage of heightened ability. This was a uh, a function and a, a gameplay mechanic that was only in introduced in four games. It was introduced in Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon uh, Alpha, Sapphire, and Pokemon Omega Ruby. It was supported in some other games after that, but the current per Pokemon games do not support this feature anymore, so it seems to be something that was just temporary for the Pokemon franchise. We'll see if they ever bring it back. These are all of the Mega Pokemon that um, ever were invented. Um, I don't have uh, Primal Groudon or Primal Kyogre on here because they technically are not Mega Pokemon. Um, we have all these other ones to do anyway, so... We're going to be going through all the Mega Pokemon. Remember, as we rank these, just like with the other Pokemon videos, we are ranking based on uh, what the Pokemon looks like and how good we think its design is. Not necessarily based on how good it was, though. I will mention that a little bit in here because some of these Pokemon um, were incredibly powerful. These are some of the most powerful Pokemon I've created. Um, so that's pretty cool. We're going to start with Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade uh, made regular Gallade look a bit like a superhero with a cape and whatnot. I love the arm blade, but I'm going to have to be very selective today, uh, here today with where I'm placing these, because I can't have too many up here in S. Um, a lot of these designs are great, but we're going to try to separate the great, the A tier from the S tier here today. Mewtwo gets two Mega Evolutions. Uh, its first one is more of the psychic type, kind of a cross between Mew and Mewtwo. Um, big psychic Pokemon that'll just take over your mind, basically. That's what it looks like. I like it. I don't like as much the other Mega Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo X. Um, I don't like just the kind of fighting aesthetic. I, do, I like how this looks, but I wish they had taken the feet maybe of this one, of Mega Mewtwo Y, and made it more psychic-y. It just looks kind of fighting to me. It looks like it's going to punch me as opposed to blast me with a psychic attack, which is, I, in my opinion, what Mewtwo should be about. I love the idea of Kangaskhan, Mega Kangaskhan, that the that the baby has like hopped out of its uh, pouch and is going to fight now, but I just feel like this should have been either a regular evolution, and I'm probably going to say that a lot today. I feel like this either should have been a regular evolution or this should have been just a form change, um, not necessarily a mega evolution because the mother did not change at all. And I know it's because the baby just jumped out, but literally all these other Pokemon have specific changes to their body. Except maybe Sableye, but all their others. Mega Obama Snow is cool. I like Mega Obama Snow, but it's, it is the case with some of these Pokemon on this list. It's like, why did they make this? I don't really understand. I don't think anybody was clamoring for Mega Obama Snow. And this could have just been Obama Snow's evolution. Uh, Obama Snow doesn't evolve normally, so why not just make this its normal evolution? That would have been cooler. Um. Ampharos is what Ampharos should have been to begin with. Um, I've never understood how a sheep Pokemon can evolve into a hairless Pokemon. That never made sense to me. Um, Ampharos should have looked like this just from the beginning. I also don't understand why it's Dragon type. But yeah, if you didn't know, this is a Dragon type. Because of hair, I guess. Mega Met Mechan looks very weird. I don't like it. Not a fan. Mega Glalie, same thing. I like Glalie a lot more than Metachan. But both of their Megas look very odd. Mega Manectrike, I love the idea. I don't think it was executed very well. This Pokemon looks very bulky, and it's supposed to be very fast. It's supposed to be a fast, I believe, physical attacker. So it runs in fast, headbutts you, hits you, whatever. Um, compare this one to, where is it? Mega Houndoom right here. And I feel like they could have done something similar with Manectrike, where they just make the armor smaller, they accentuate the parts of the body. Instead, with Mega Manectrike, they just gave it a big foam-looking lightning bolt. 
Not a huge, huge fan. Mega Gyarados is cool. I love me some Mega Gyarados. I love Gyarados. Um, I like that it's... Um, they made a, a dragon type, I believe. I like the wings. Um, I wish it was longer. If it was longer, I think it'd look a lot cooler. Mega Venusaur is cool. Um, with a lot of these Pokemon, especially like the old Gen 1, Gen 2 Pokemon, they needed upgrades over time. They needed things to change these Pokemon to make them look um, new and interesting, kind of to match the newer designs. And I think that's what they did with uh, Mega Venusaur. But this honestly could have just been what Venusaur looks like now. I think out of all the Kanto starters, it was the least impressive. Uh, Mega Skeptile is awesome. I love that he almost has like leaf armor added to him. I like Skeptile and I like Mega Skeptile. Um, wherever I put one of these, the Lattes, I have to put the other. I feel like they're fine. They're okay, Megas. I like the design. I wish they would have kept the red and blue, though. Um, I feel like that would have been better. I get that they turned them into the same color, but um, I mean, it's just very difficult to even tell which one I'm looking at at times. So... I like, uh, I would like the red and blue. Mega Marstomp looks awesome. Looks like a big, swole, uh, just buffed up version of, of Marstomp. Looks awesome. Looks like it's going to beat you. Mega Garchomp is one of my favorites here. I love the razor blades. Love the, the head looks like a wicked shark. I think it's S tier for me. I think this is one of my favorite ones. Mega Metagross is awesome looking. Uh, the yellow X in the middle, the four arms pointed forward now. Um, I think the only thing that would make this better... I don't even know. I don't know what would make this better, but... It's such a cool looking Pokemon. It's, it's just barely out of S tier for me. I would put Mega Tyranitar in S tier for me. I love how it looks. It looks like it's... It looks like the villain from a Power Rangers TV show. It looks awesome. I don't understand why Mega Audino exists. I have never once used Audino in my party, nor do I really care to. Um, why wasn't this just an evolution of Audino? I don't understand. Mega Blaziken is awesome looking. Um, I like it a little bit better than Skeptile, but I think it is, is still in this A tier. Mega Camera up. I like the des I like the idea behind this design that there's a volcano exploding on its back, but I don't understand what where its legs went, and I think it looks really awkward. I don't think it's as bad as these ones because, yeah, I don't even understand what hap is happening with Glalie. Um, it's better than those, but it's not very good. Um, Megalopony, eh. It looks like it could fight you and punch you and stuff, but so did regular Lopini. So this was kind of a lateral more than an upgrade. Mega Aggron is one of my favorite Megas. Um, it just looks like a big old wall that's going to take everything, all the punches, all the attacks, just be able to block them all. Uh, people that know Megas probably knew this was coming. Mega Charizard X with the black and uh, blue looks so freaking cool. And Mega Charizard Y here in A tier also also looked very cool. I wish if they had just made one Mega Charizard form, I wish they would have made this one, the Mega Charizard Y. I like the design better, but I like the color scheme of Mega Charizard X more. So I feel like a combination of those would have been actually the best ever. But with how they are, I think it's like that. I love them both though. Mega Sharpedo, they just added scars to Sharpedo. Like, I don't... I guess both of these Pokemon were added because the villainous teams in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire needed Megas. But I just... They could have done a better job. Mega Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon. In fact, all four of these are, but Mega Rayquaza is almost on a different level. I almost made another tier just for it, but I think this is fine. Mega Sableye, I... They just added a, they just added a crystal. I don't get it. It's it gets to be up here though because 
I think this actually works, looks worse than Glalie, and this is just weird looking. So I do think it's better than them. Let's see. We have Mega Alakazam here. I think it's good. I, I think it's okay. Um, I don't know what I would have preferred here, but I, I think it's okay. Um, Mega Diancy. I have unfortunately never had the pleasure of using Diancy or Mega Diancy, but I think it looks very cool. As does Mega Houndoom. Uh, not much to say. This should have just been Houndoom's, Houndoom's evolution. I don't understand why it isn't. I don't know why this exists, Mega Slowbro. Why does it look like that? I just have a lot of like, why? How is this more powerful than regular Slowbro? I don't understand. This is Mega Slowbro, right? Like, the fact that I don't know that for sure tells you a lot about this Pokemon. Mega Altarius, cool. Big uh, Cloud Dragon. Yeah. As is Mega Blastoise. Mega Blastoise is. Very, very cool. Huge cannon on its back, cannon on its arms. Um, I, I think I like it just as much as I like Char Mega Charizard Y. Mega Gengar is cool. But I wish... Because it kind of like goes into the ground when it fights. I almost wish that was its normal... Kind of how it looks. Kind of goes in the ground and swallows you up. It's alright. It's good though. Mega Pinsir is very cool. Um, Pin Pinsir is one of my favorite bug Pokemon. This should have just been its evolution. It's awesome. Almost looks like a fighter jet. I like it. Mega Beedrill. I also like. I don't like it quite as much as Mega Pinsir, but I think it looks great. I think uh, this was a much needed upgrade to Beedrill. Uh, Mega Mega uh, Aerodactyl here looks good. Um, this is one of those Pokemon that. Had it been created today, uh, it probably would look like this just in general. Pokemon today tend to be more detailed. Um, so it was a much needed upgrade to Aerodactyl, but I feel like they could have done a little bit better because its spikes just kind of jut out at weird angles. I don't know. Still good, though. Mega Scissor's okay. Um, I love Scissor, Scizor, but they kind of made it look like a robot. Um, I like it, but it's kind of just okay. Same thing with Mega uh, Pidgeot. I like this Pokemon, but I feel like they just didn't do enough. Um, it just looks very similar to... If you ask somebody that didn't really watch uh, or play the games that much, um, like what the difference between Pidgeot and Mega Pidgeot is, I guess they would notice the colors, but it's, it's not that big of a difference. Mega Lucario is cool. Looks like it's ready to, for a fight. I kind of wish its, uh, its hands and feet weren't red. I feel like they could have done more if that had been, like, silver to match its steel type. Mega Mawal is also cool. I think Mawal is a super unique Pokemon. They gave it two big mounts on its head now. Changed it up. Looks cool. Mega Heracross here looks like just a giant Digimon monster. That's just what I think of when I think of this Pokemon. I think it looks awesome. They did a great job with this one. Mega Steelix looks great. You have diamonds coming out of Steelix, spinning around. I would love to use a Mega Steelix. I'd love to use most of these Mega Pokemon. My playthrough of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, I went with almost every one of my Pokemon could Mega Evolve. I went with Mega Gardevoir down here, Mega Manectrike, uh, Mega Blaziken was my starter, Mega Agron. So I like using uh, some of these, especially like like Agron, a Pokemon that I feel like it's Mega really, really helped it. All right, four more. Mega Bennett and Mega Apsol are good. I feel like they were just good uh, it, improvements on their original design. Um, you know, the zippers opening up on Bennett and the wings on Apsol are good. B tier. Meta Gardevoir, they just get, kind of gave it a dress. Kind of wish they had done a little bit more like they did with Gallade. Mega Gallade looks better than Mega Gardevoir, in my opinion. So, yeah. And um, same thing with Mega Salamance. It, they just inverted its wings. Made it look, gave it like a little vest. 
feel like they could have done more to this like they did with Garchomp and Tyranitar and Rayquaza. Um, it was cool, but they could have done more. And that's it. This is our tier list, guys. So for Mega Pokemon, we have S tier being Garchomp, Tyranitar, Mega Charizard X, and uh, Rayquaza. And down here in F tier, we have Metacham, Slowbro, and Glalie. Yeah. I, I don't normally have an E tier, so I guess if you want to get rid of this, we could just do this. Delete that row and kind of just put that there. That would This also summarizes my opinion, but I do definitely think these three are more offensive than these three. Um, and these are by far better than everything below them. So, All right. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my opinions? Leave me a comment down below if you have something to say about this video or if you have any suggestions for future ones. There will be more tier lists coming up this week on well, every day, I think, um, at noon Pacific. So if you want to watch more tier lists, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you then. This has been the guy that makes random tier lists. Signing out.